Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, back with some more NCAA 14. Before we get into today's video, man, a special thanks and special shout out to FAU Football for showing me love on winning the national title. With, for winning the national title with my FAU rebuild, man, and the sky's the limit, man. I couldn't thank you guys enough because without you guys, uh, I wouldn't have gotten this recognition or notoriety. And um, we're just going to keep grinding and I'm, I'm going to keep doing this for y'all. Now, for the reason you guys are all here, today we got some more NCAA 14 simulations. Florida Georgia game is this weekend, this Saturday. We all know how big of a game this is, the Florida Georgia Classic. Uh, you know what I mean? Georgia is number seven in the nation, Florida is number nine. Uh, big SEC matchup. Both teams are playing really well this year, and um, I can't wait to see what we can come out here and do. Now, if this is one of your first times ever, you know what I mean, seeing one of the simulation videos, how we do it. Heisman difficulty, four minute quarter length. We play as both teams' offenses back and forth. And uh, the only time we switch and play defense with a squad is say Georgia goes up two scores on Florida. We try to score with Florida, play defense, get the ball back, make it a game again. But if Florida can't, you know what I mean, get back into the ball game, we'll switch back to Georgia and try to put the nail in the coffin. Very rarely do we ever have to do that. Um, unless it's real, real late in the ball game, but you never know. Uh, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, man, here we are. Everbank Field, Florida-Georgia game is on the way. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if they still play the game here or not, but this is where it is here on this game. Ready to get it in, baby. Let's get to it. All right, man, so Florida uh, wins the coin toss. They elected a fur. You know what I mean? We're going to do the same thing that we did last time with Georgia. We're going to run the – ooh, I thought we was going to go off of Hartman again, but we're going to run with Jake Fromm. In the first half, and in the second half, we're going to switch over to Justin Fields. All right, man, first and ten, let's go. Try to get things going here. DeAndre Swift met in the backfield, nowhere to go, lost it too. All right, try to try to step it up a little bit here. Second and 12. Go to the air, see what Fromm could do. He's got one. And he finds Harmon over the, over the middle. All right, so first down here after completing that pass to Harmon. Going to empty backfield a little bit, seeing what we can do through the air. We got Riley really over the middle. Boom, juke our way out. We pick up the first. All right, so I think we were able to use the pass successfully here to open up the run a little bit. Try to get the ball back to DeAndre Swift. Boom, we got some pullers. All right, key block. One-on-one -on -one with him. Good tackle. Okay, second and inches here. Looking to pick up this first down. Now that we can get a good little mixture here of the run and the pass going. Man, coverage. Open up that, uh, that lane over there a little bit as long as we get the, the block out there. All right, got one key block. We got the first. We juke inside for much more, and we are just short. All right, man, so once again, Florida's able to snuff out the run. You know what I mean? Back to their old ways. They've been doing a good job of, of playing it pretty well out here. Hartman. Boom, perfect pass from Fromm. Hartman spinning inside, breaking a tackle, and we're down inside the red zone now, looking and punching in for six. Fromm's having a good day today. Three for three, 46 yards. Let's see what we can get out of this. We're going to send all the receivers to the left. Send the tight end back to the right. Ah, uh, all right, there it is. Boom. All right, second and four here inside the ten. Looking to get it, get it in here. Going back to DeAndre Swift. He jukes his way into the end zone, baby, and we're in there for six. Georgia's on the board. All right, man. So uh, Georgia comes out here, gets on the board early. Florida's getting the ball and then a chance to score. The defense started off pretty strong, but then they fell by the wayside early. Trying to see what we can do out here. Felipe Franks, heavy on that side. We're not going to stick with the pass. I mean, with the run. They do send the blitz. It's picked up. Got a man open. Cleveland makes a reception, and he's able to pick up the first. Scarlett has some room in front of him on that screenplay, man, but his agile just didn't look up the par there. Felipe Franks passing. Oh, no! Who nearly picked off. Tyson Campbell jumped that route. All right, third and 12 for, for Florida here. This isn't... Uh, all right, third and 12 for Florida here. Looking to pick up a first there. Uh, there uh, what's the name on the outside? Jamming. We got a man open over the middle. Hammond, he gets the safety, comes over and makes the play. All right. All right, so we got ourselves a first and 10 here for, for uh, Georgia. Fresh off of the punt. Trying to come out here and really take over this ball game. Nice juke from DeAndre, but he's brought down. All right, man, so at the end of the one. 
All right, man, so at the end of one, Georgia does have the seven-point lead, and they got the stop on Florida already. Trying to do more of the same here. DeAndre, you got one man to beat, and he's brought down. In the beginning of the game, Georgia was having a little bit of a hard time running the ball, but right now, things seem to be turning around a little bit. Trying to go with the triple option here. They play it pretty well. Fromm has holy field. He's able to get the, uh, the toss off, and he's eventually brought down by number 13, but not after picking up 14 yards. First and 10, Georgia calmly continuing to drive down the field. Fromm holding it down. He's got a receiver. He hits his man, Robertson. He tries to spin, but is brought down by the corner. Right now, it's not looking too good for Florida, man. Their defense is, is good, but right now, Georgia is seeming like they is looking like they are a little bit too much for them. Fromm's got a receiver open over the middle. It's Godwin. He's just brought down short of the end zone, down inside the one. First and goal here. Georgia looking to punch it in. They're going to keep it on the ground, give the ball to Swift. The blocks are made up front, and he's walks into the end zone for touchdown number two. All right, man, Florida getting the ball back here again. They got to put some points on the board. You know what I mean? Cleveland back for the return. Hopefully he can get a decent return, some decent blocks. Uh, he doesn't get the greatest of blocks, but it is a decent return. All right, another third down here for Florida, man. Definitely need to, to pick up a first down here. Switch that. That run play wasn't going to be there. They're pressing on the outside. Let's see if they can hold it down. Felipe Frank's going deep. He has a man. He does hit Cleveland, who breaks a tackle, and he's going to get into the end zone on a big third down play for Florida. They're back in the ball game. All right, man, what we're going to try to do here is make a stop for Florida. You know what I mean? See if we can if we can get the ball back, tie the ball game up. Oh, get there. Ooh, good tackle from Reese, though. They don't pick up anything on that reception. It's funny because right before this game, I said I usually don't have to switch over early. But this game was definitely looking like it could possibly get ugly. And we definitely don't want that to happen. Oh, we're all over that. Let's go. Third and eight. Jake Fromm continues his perfect day. He's eight for eight. Uh, George, I mean, Florida's just looking for a stop here to get the ball back. Try to put some points to the board before halftime. They do get the ball at halftime. So if they can make this stop, that would be huge. Georgia's trying to work on the clock a little bit, though. Florida's not going to stress. They do have, still have all three timeouts. Going to get the ball back if they make the stop here with a little bit under a minute left. So it wouldn't be that bad. They're going to have to hike the ball right here. Oh, that route. I kind of seen it. And Godwin is able to pick up the first down. Okay. I jumped on the slant, the quick slant across the middle. You know what I mean? He put the brakes on and, and, and uh, you know what I mean, took the out route. Not a, not, not a bad play there from, from Georgia. They're going deep this time, though. Oh, but Florida gets the sack. All right. So they might not get the ball back, but if they can just keep Georgia from putting points on the board, still a good look. All right, 38 seconds left here in the quarter. I apologize, guys. My, uh, I forgot to turn my face cam back on. That's on me. Still, still the same thing, though. Nothing missed. They're running those out routes. Get there and make that tackle. Third and 16. Looks like Georgia's is going to try to dink and dunk and run the clock out. So Fromm still continues his perfect day out here. He's 10 for 10. He can pretty much do no wrong right now. Good defense from Florida. Oh, I'm on that. Let's go. Polite with the pick, baby. Can we take it back to the crib? That would be huge. Okay. He's unable to take it to the crib, but one second is still on the clock. So they can either take a shot at the end zone or, you know what I mean, uh, try to kick a long field goal. Coach elects to kick. 48 seconds left on the clock. The win, the win is actually at our backs. So uh, it gets a little extra push. For the kick, the kick is up. It is good. And Florida is going to head into the second half. Only down four, getting the ball back. 14-10 Georgia lead. Been a great game so far. Let's see if we can match it and keep this up in the second half. All right, man. So Florida Florida ended up coming out on top in the second half. You know I mean, well, as long as they can score here. If they can score here, that changes the uh, the that changes the, you know what I mean, the dynamic of the game. But uh looks like they're getting it together here. All right, first and ten here. The run wasn't there. They had the edge sealed. They got one safety high. We're going to send Jefferson deep, deep, and see what he can do, if he can win the, the matchup against his man. He has a step, and he's just unable to hold on to it. Beautiful play by the corner there, knocking the ball late, uh, out at the last second. Boom. Hold on to that, Cleveland. Let's go. Cleveland is making all the plays out here today. Three catches, 94 yards for Cleveland today. You know what I mean? Doing well. Oh, I did not know I was running the screen. Luckily for us, it worked out. I definitely thought I picked yeah, a counter play, but I'll take it. <laughs> All right, Felipe Franks isn't having that bad of a day either. He's five for eight, you know what I mean? Uh, a touchdown, no picks. 
They're sending the house. The screen is open. Let's go, Scarlet. Come on, platoon block in. You gotta get out there and make the block. Scarlet beats his man, though. He's gonna dive into the end zone. Big play from the Florida Gators. They now have the lead. All right, man, so Florida takes the three-point lead here to start off the second half. Harmon Jr. is back here to return some kicks. He had a big game last time when we did the Florida uh, LSU sim, returning some uh, kick returns for touchdowns. Uh, he picks up 31 there. Okay, so Jake Fromm's day is done, like I promised. Justin Fields will be coming in here uh, in the second half. We try not to play one-dimensional with him. You know, we try to come out here and actually pass the ball with him as he completes his first pass to Robertson, who tries to spin off his man. But uh, the DBs here for Florida have been making big tackles all day. At times, it looks like Florida's going to really be able to shut down the run. But DeAndre Swift still has two touchdowns. Decent yards per carry, as you know what I mean? He picks up a first down there. One thing I want to touch on right here in this video, man, I really, really appreciate and I'm humbled by the support you guys have been giving the channel. It seems like just yesterday I, I just hit like 1,200, 1,300, and we're approaching 2,000. We're, you know, more than halfway to, to 1,900 right now. Screenplay is open for Swift. He's got to make some people miss himself. He cuts back in. He's eventually brought down, but not after picking up the first down. But definitely, man, with the support, it seems like you guys have been wanting all NCAA videos for the longest. And uh, we made the switch, and it's been working out perfectly for me and for you. Nobody's open. Fields is going to use his legs here. This is where he's the most dangerous, and he's a difference difference maker, unlike Fromm. First and 10 here. Giving the ball to DeAndre Swift again. He's been holding it down. Ooh, you got to hold those blocks on the outside. I thought for sure, you know what I mean, we had a lot of room over there. All right, second and 13. Trying to keep it on the ground. Don't want to make it too much for the freshman. Get out and make that block. All right, one-on-one, -on -one, Swift. There we go. That's the move you want to see. We're in the end zone, baby. George is back on top. All right, first and 10 here. Running, running to run the ball again. But, like, uh, Georgia really overloads the side, you know what I mean, that we want to run the ball to. So we'll go ahead and audible to the pass. Nobody's open, really. All right, we are able to find Davis. He gets a block. We juke his side. He's got him on the beat. He's pushed out of bounds. 17-yard pickup, baby. Let's go. Malik Davis with a big catch and run right there. Much needed for Florida, especially when it didn't look like anything would happen with that play. Going to Scarlet here with the uh, with the counter. Oh, not the most pretty uh, of runs, but you know what I mean? Stumble forward, uh, stumbles forward, picks up seven, and he's keeping the chains moving. All right, approaching 10 seconds left here in the third quarter. You know what I mean? We're going for it here. We're going to keep it on the ground, give it to the main man, Scarlet. He's able to pick up the first and more. He has a couple blocks. You know what I mean? Brought down after six, keeping the chains moving. And that's going to be the last play of the third. All right, everybody, y'all know what time it is. Get them fours up. Fourth quarter here, man. Georgia has the four-point lead, 21-17. Hell of a game right now. Uh, but we got to wait to see who's going to come on top. All right, first and 10 here. As much as I claim, as much as I complain with BDOT about, you know what I mean, running uh, screens to the short side of the field, we're not going to do that to Scarlett either. Looking for somebody to get open here. All right. We got one. Felipe Franks takes a shot. It's underthrown. I didn't get an animation with Hammond, and we throw a pick. Okay. All right, man. Georgia gets the ball back. 353 left here in the ball game. Uh, touchdown here will really, really put this game out of reach. Fields has nobody open. All right, he has one. He sees his man over the field, over the middle. It's Roberts. He has a lot of space, a big block up front, and it looks like he has the opportunity to score in one play, but he's pushed out by the corner, number three for Florida. He's been making plays all day. Justin Fields continues to play well, and Georgia quarterbacks continue to be perfect on the day. All right, first and 10, 3.30 left. Trying to run a little screen play here. Florida, ooh, they get to Justin Fields. He holds on to it just a little bit too long. Second and 10 here. Georgia's trying to get into the end zone. They don't want to have to settle for three. DeAndre Swift is brought down for a loss of one. A big third and long here for Georgia. Um, all right, so after the big initial first uh, big play, if, jo if Florida can get a stop here, that would be huge. They're locking up. You got to try one. He hits his tight end, Nauta. He's going to fall forward. He's brought down at the one-yard line, just short of the touchdown. And Georgia keeps the chains moving. And they're probably pretty much going to be able to first and 10 here, you know what I mean, on the one-yard line. Justin Fields, numbers, Justin Fields' number is called. He walks into the end zone. And they're going to go ahead and take a commanding lead with 242 left in this ballgame. All right, man, so it's time for Felipe Franks to come out here. And show what his arm can do. You know what I mean? Uh, try to see if he can if he, if he can go to his go-to guy, Cleveland. Continue to let him eat out here. He has him. Wide open. Picking up the first. You know what I mean? On the ball. Cleveland's having a pretty big day here today. You know what I'm saying? He's doing what he's supposed to do as a number one receiver. 
Felipe Franks got his man Jefferson. He's batted away. He's got to haul that one in. 227 left here. No need to panic. Second and 10. You got uh, you got Cleveland on the outside, one-on-one. -on -one. Take a shot with your best receiver. The ball is up in the air. He goes up and he comes down with the catch. He's down inside the five. Big time play from a big time player, Tyree Cleveland, with a big time catch. Remember, man, Florida doesn't necessarily have to score a touchdown, although they would rather that. But if they score three, they're only down eight. Nobody's open. All right, hitting Lewis. He's brought down. On the ball. No, no need, no time for all that other stuff. Because Florida's gonna have to come out here and try to play some play some uh, defense. Try to call Felipe Frank's number, man. See what we can get here. On the ball, dog. Forget all that. All right. The blast is called. And Felipe Franks is going to walk into the end zone untouched. Time to play some defense. All right, man. So, Coach wants us to go for two to get down three here. You know what I mean? I'm not totally against the call. Got one open over the middle. Thrown behind him. He's still able to haul it in. Trayvon Grimes hauls in the three-yard catch and gets in there for two. All right, man. So, Georgia goes with the onside kick. Uh, I assimilate all the extra points. I mean, all the uh, special team stuff. I wanted to kick the onside kick, but they're in the backfield against DeAndre Swift. And my goodness, did that man get lit up. This is a big defensive possession here for Florida. Get to the outside. Reese is there making a tackle. DeAndre Swift is just able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third and 13 here. This is a big time play for, uh, for Georgia. You know what I'm saying? They might just run it and try to work on the clock. They do. Taylor's there to bring down Swift. And the last and final timeout is going to be used by Florida. Georgia's going to have to punt the rock back to him. All right, man, Georgia's back to kick. I feel like Georgia played it a little bit too safe there down the stretch. But you know what I mean? Who am I? Minute 20 left. No timeouts for Florida here. They're trying to drive all the way down the field and at least tie the ball game up. He's got one open. Good throw. Hammond's actually able to hold on to it on the ball. You know what I mean? The first downs in college stopped the clock for you, so that's definitely going to be working in Florida's favor. You know what I mean? But they, they still have to play smart. Get out of bounds if they can. On the ball, Franks. They, they know what everything's coming. Let's go. Uh, can I trust you, Tyree? Oh, my goodness. Franks is unable to make the throw and is picked off. And uh, that's effectively pretty much going to do it. Try to get the ball to his best player. He had a step. It's just underthrown. All right, man. That's it. The clock has hit triple zeros. Uh, Georgia's going to walk out of here with a three-point victory. Frank's two turnovers is uh, what's, what ultimately did Georgia, I mean Florida in. Uh, Georgia capitalized off of those turnovers, you know what I mean? Justin Fields and Jake Fromm both played great. DeAndre Swift really did his thing on the ground, and they got the W. All right, man, so taking a look at the game stats, and uh, my fault, I was completely wrong the whole time about Jake Fromm ending his day perfectly. I forgot I played defense for Florida and caught the pick with him. But you know what I mean? Uh, Justin Fields is four for five. No touchdowns, no picks, 80% completion percentage. 114 yards, 29 was, uh, was his average. 69 was his longest of the day. Fromm was 10 for 11, one pick, no touchdowns, 102 yards. 10, uh, 10 yards of uh, a completion, excuse me. 25 was his longest. He was sacked once. That's when I was playing defense, though. For Florida, Felipe Franks, 11 for 18, 253. Two touchdowns, but unfortunately two picks. 61% uh, percent completion percentage. Um, they didn't do much on the ground. Felipe Franks threw for five in the touchdown. Jordan Scarlett, three for 19 in the touchdown for Georgia. DeAndre Swift, 17 for 64, three touchdowns. Justin Fields, three for 19 in the touchdown. And Elijah Holyfield, one for 14, no TDs. Receiving-wise, McCole Harmon led the, led the Georgia Bulldogs in catches, four for 37. Demetrius Robertson had three for 95. Swift uh, and Godwin chipped in with two along with Nauta. And Riley Ridley had one catch for uh, Florida. Uh, Tyree Cleveland really, really had a, a very, very big game. Five catches, 165 yards of touchdown. Jordan Scarlett had two catches, 43 yards of touchdown. Hammond chipped in with two catches. Lewis and uh, Davis had one. And then Van Jefferson had two drops on the day. Defensively for Florida, Donovan Steiner led the team in tackles with seven all solo, uh, followed by David Reese, Jawan Taylor, and uh, Chauncey G. Johnson. Uh, with Ford, all those are solo. Tackles for loss, Florida had two, three, four, five, six, seven tackles for loss. The one sack went to Polite, also had the one pick. Uh, so he's pretty much the defensive player of the game. For Georgia, for Georgia, William Poole, the third led the team in tackles with four all solo. Everything after that, uh, you had four, four players with two tackles. Uh, you had two picks on this side, uh, one by J.R. Reed, another by Tyson Campbell. They were able to get one tackle for loss. 
Uh, I don't think there were any sacks. No, there were no sacks. And uh, no points were scored off of those uh, touchdowns. But all in all, man, this was a damn good game. Really, really had fun bringing it to you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, so I'm smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. Once you subscribe, hit the little bell. That way you'll get a notification every time we post a video. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace.